All right, just got the tractor back from John Deere here on this Saturday. Uh, I took it up there yesterday, and uh, it would have been done yesterday, but uh, when I got the tractor, it had a different cover here, um, so they had to order the right one. You know, imagine that. I guess they've seen that seen that before. So what's nice now is where my 4320, I had a switch here, which is the third SCV, and it's controlled electric, uh, you know, it's electric over hydro, so you don't, you don't have a float option with that. And it's good for what it's designed for, you know, uh, on the loader function to have a grappler or whatever you got going on up front and where you don't really need a float. What <clears throat> for my uh, planter and uh, for my Frontier mower, um, I need a float option. So this one here has the, uh, has the float option um, and this one here does not, but it's also continuous. So you can turn this on and you can just have it in a continuous flow uh, for what uh, whatever you might need that for. Or you can just have it for, you know, uh, whatever else you might have hooked up to where you don't need continuous to still operate as normal. It just doesn't have the float float option. Uh, so we'll get a shot back here of the hoses. There they are. So, and like I said, I've got the planter plumbed. I, I pull it from the three point. I never really uh, explained that you know earlier on any other videos, but I, I pull it from here. Uh, because of the draw bar height is just too low on these compact utility tractors. You know, these this planter is what, it's 1978, pretty much when I was born. So, uh, there's a little bit higher draw bar back on those tractors. They were bigger tractors too. And, uh, you know, you just don't need a lot of horsepower to pull a four row. I don't pull up, pull it up any hills or anything like that anyways. But, uh, yeah, you might, you might need a little more horse. But 52 is plenty for this. I'd say about 10 horse each row, at least on flat ground. But uh, it turned out really well. I'll go outside and get a better angle of the of the hookups. Took uh, let me turn the radio down here. Should have done that earlier. My apologies. Uh, it took John Deere. I think he had six hours in this thing, but you know, ran into issues. Uh, I can't imagine how it'd gone if I tried it. But uh, yeah, fourth and fifth. So it doesn't. If the tractor doesn't come with it from the factory and you want to add on it, you got to pretty much go with the fourth and fifth. They may be able to, to build whatever you need. Um, usually, if you got a single set, they're mounted right here. But there's uh, there's different applications. I don't know all the ins and outs of it of it all. But anyways, on this hitch, you see how the hitch and where I need it a little bit higher. And plus, this one on this tractor is two inches lower than where my 4320 ran. It was like a 17 inches off the ground, and this is 15. So even more reason to pull it from the three point. Plus, in transport, you can raise that thing all the way up. You don't have to, but you can raise it up out of the way, get your get your coulters up off the ground a little bit higher, and cleaners, and you know, I like it. It uh, it worked out pretty good on my other tractor. It'd be uh, interesting to see how this is going to work um, with this tractor. But I've used it uh, the last couple of years pulling it from the three point. It's been fine. So, <clears throat> but uh, that's it. Hydros are finally finally hooked up.